Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. I'm going to review the brand new Swarovski EL range binoculars with tracking assistant today, the 10 by 42 model. This is already the third generation of the EL range series. It was presented around a month ago in January 2021, and then it already hit the shelves at the beginning of this month. So in February 2021. The first generation came out in 2011, the second one in 2015, and now in 2021, this is the third generation. Before I move on with the review, I would like to say a few words about the COVID-19 situation that's been, um, that's been, that's influenced the hunting fairs last year and this year. So last year, only SHOT Show took place out of all the major fairs. EWA was first postponed and canceled. And now in 2021, SHOT Show and EWA are already canceled and will not take place. So Swarovski presented uh, their novelties through a webinar in January 2021. So they presented three new things, the new version of the CL Pocket binoculars, Swarovski DS second generation, and the third generation of the EL range, which I think was one of the biggest breakthroughs because it featured the biggest updates out of all the three products. There were only a few changes between the first and the second generation. So among them, we had a different eyepiece cover. It was made of rubber instead of plastic. But the most prominent change was with the strap solution, had to do with a strap solution. They featured an improved way of how to attach the strap to the binoculars and it's still here on the third generation i will get to that later on but this was the major change the other ones were only minor now the third generation brings along several changes which i'll quickly go through now so we have the swarovision technology based on a field flattening lens system then we have a 10 percent wider field of view we have an advanced ballistic calculator four headrest compatibility, an additional button on the left barrel, compatibility with a smartphone app, so we have Wi-Fi connectivity, and we have tracking assistant. I may have forgotten something. The point here is that the third generation model is a completely new device with obvious upgrades. And in this review, I'll try to cover the features as accurately as possible. And I wanna start with the physical properties. We'll get to optical later. And I'll also show you how to work the smartphone app uh, somewhere towards the end of this review. And I also go through all the changes that I mentioned just a few seconds ago. If we start with the physical properties, um, the first thing that comes to mind is the elegant appearance of these binoculars. Uh, the color is Swarovski's signature green with their logo, logo here on the barrel. They really know how to take care of the aesthetics. So. A really elegant binocular, the one that is sure to stand out of the crowd. The length is 170 millimeters. They are, they measure 130 millimeters in width when they are fully extended, like now. And the weight is 960 grams. So, pretty average dimensions, pretty average weight for a laser range finding binocular doesn't deviate too much from the competition. If we take a look at the bridge, we can see that it is an open bridge configuration, one that the EL range is famous for. It is simple to handle. You can hold the binoculars single-handedly without problems, increasing comfort. You can see that I can get three of my fingers in this gap here, and it is really easy to hold them and makes it really comfortable to use even for longer periods of time. Uh, the birth of open bridge configuration uh, goes back 10 years, so they were already featured. The bridge, the open bridge was already featured on the first generation of EL range, and it is something they are quite known for. Then if we go to the eyepieces, they're really of high quality, comfortable to press against the face. With some cheaper binoculars, eyepieces, eyepieces are usually quite thick on the edges here, and that makes them quite uncomfortable to use. These come with a nicely rounded narrow edges. And it's also easy to set a proper eye relief. They can be fixed in four positions altogether. 
and you shouldn't have problems setting the correct eye relief even if you wear glasses. The focusing works great. Um, the knob can be turned for two whole revolutions. It produces some resistance when turned, but not too much. That's just how I like it. And I would say that this is a mixture of a focusing system intended for hunting and the one intended for bird watching. A happy medium between the two. The surface is wavy, so it's wavy to provide a better grip. And there is a battery compartment in the middle of this focusing knob that carries the CR2 battery. It's already inserted when you receive the device. I mentioned the strap attachment system earlier and I want to go into it more in a detail right now. You can see that this circular parts here, they can be removed by just pressing them in and turning your finger counterclockwise. You remove them and then you pair them with this parts here on the attachment strap. Um, this part here you have to remove and store somewhere while these ones on the other part here they go in here and then you just simply press it in and you have the carrying strap attached without any hassle so it's really comfortable really easy to use and I would still say that this is one of the best and most simple solutions for a strap attachment in the market probably my favorite still there are bulbs at the bottom of the housing that house electronics. I know it's quite difficult to hide the components within the body of the binoculars as there isn't plenty of space, but the competition has managed to do that so we know that it is possible. How, however, Swarovski still decided to uh, for these bulbs to be, appear like this. Um, I, maybe it has to do with the fact that uh, they do want to keep the, the optics untouched by the by the electronics as we all know sometimes when the electronics the electronics affect the light transmission rate as well as the image clarity and color fidelity of of the image seen through the binoculars with bin, with Swarovski EL range these are really optically excellent so maybe it has to do that they just decided to leave the electronics here and um, don't do any damage, so to say, to the image clarity and color fidelity of the binoculars. But they would definitely be better, better off aesthetically and ergonomically if these bulbs weren't present. We know size Victory RF and Leica Geovit, they both have, don't have these bulbs because the electronics are hidden within the housing. Many functions have been added to the third generation of EL range, so it was only logical for Swarovski to add another button here on the bottom of, of the barrel. The previous model used to only have one model, uh, one button, sorry, but it was on the left side here. Now they moved it to the right. So you have one button here and then you have one button here at the bottom. They're easy to reach. You can reach this one with the index finger on your, of your right hand and this one with the thumb of your left hand. Uh, easy to use these buttons when you're observing with the binoculars. Um, and it's understandable that they choose to add one button because of the many functions, as I said, that are available on the new EL range. What about the diopter compensation? Well, you can see that we have two diopter compensation rings, one on each, uh, on each eyepiece. They can be pulled out like so and easily turned. So um, you just have to adjust these so that you can clearly uh, see so that the image is in focus on a certain distance. Uh, you do that on one eye first and then on the other. You can even go to the diopter compensation mode inside the menu to make the adjusting even easier. And this is explained in detail here on page 10 in the instruction manual. Or you can just do it the old way, so you adjust the focus on the first, on one eye, and then on the second. There is a serial number here underneath the right ocular, in case you wondered where that was. They feature a magnesium housing, they're fully waterproof, 
filled with nitrogen to prevent internal fogging at low temperatures, also completely fog proof. Um, you are provided with the ocular cover to protect, so the eyepiece cover to protect the eyepieces from scratches and so on once you trans when you transport a binoculars. It's made out of rubber and then you have uh, also rubber objective covers that are strapped to the objective so that you don't lose them. They're made in Austria, as all Swarovski binoculars in Abzam, Tyrol. And they are also compatible with the forehead rest. I have it here. I will mount it on the binoculars later on. Now I just want to point out that this is not the same forehead rest that goes on the Anel Pure because the attachment technique is a little bit different. On the Anel Pure you have two sockets here and you just press the forehead rest uh, inside them. Here you have to unscrew the battery, uh, the battery cap and then you just take the forehead rest. I'll show you how it looks. And then this part here acts as a battery cap and you just um, push this pin here inside the socket that is right here. So you have again two points of contact and they hold the forehead rest holds the position well. Um, I do not like the fact that you need an extra forehead rest if you have NL Pure and EL range but that's just how it is. They weren't able to do it any other way as it seems. As I said, I'll mount it on the binoculars later on. For now, the binoculars are only available in the green color, in Swarovski's signature green, of course. But this instruction manual here suggests that the orange color model might also become available in the future. We were told by Swarovski that they're still deciding whether to launch the orange model or not. I do have a feeling that they're going to launch it, but uh, later maybe this year or next one. You get 10 years of warranty uh, on the binocular and two years of warranty on the electronics. This is everything as regards the physical properties of this uh, binocular. Let's move on to the optical ones. So one of the biggest advantages of the new EL range compared to the previous generation is of course the Svarovision technology. It is a technology that's based on a field flattening lens system um, and as I said it is the first generation of EL range to use it. Up to now it was only available in the EL binoculars and also in the NL Pure which was introduced last year. What does this technology do? So when you put the binoculars up to your eyes and when you look through them the image basically fills up your field of vision and it's difficult to describe it more accurately and what you get is impressive color fidelity, outstanding detail resolution, and really edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. And as I said, the image basically fills up your field of vision. And I think that this also affects the field of view, which is now 10% wider than it was on the second generation model. The 10x42 provides 120 meters of field of view at 1000 meters. When you look through the binocular, there is basically no tint in any of the barrels. This is a true rarity when it comes to laser range finding binoculars. EL range are one of the few on the market that provide um, that provide an uh, image of the same quality as similarly priced standard binoculars. Because of the laser system in the binoculars the light transmission rate is often compromised and so is the image quality but this isn't the case with EL range. These provide 90% of light transmission rate, which is incredibly difficult to achieve in the world of laser range finding binoculars. And when you look through them, you really have no feeling that you're holding a pair of laser range finding binoculars. The image is just so good. And this is perhaps why these bulbs have to be here so that uh, actually no laser uh, components compromise the image quality when you look through the uh, through the barrels. They can measure distance from 10 to 2000 meters with an accuracy of plus minus one meter up to 1500 meters which is I think great uh, and 
more and just enough so you, you probably won't be measuring longer or shooting at longer distances even this is very far um, also if we consider the hunting ethics the laser system is really accurate and uh, the binoculars feature Swarovski's best technologies such as Swarotop, Swarodur and others you can read more about that on the Swarovski's website basically indicates that you have multiple coatings on the lenses on the in the interior as well as on the exterior and um, yeah if you want to get more information on that you can check out any of our blogs or maybe go on Swarovski's website the point that I'm making here is that these binoculars are incredible optically even though they're of the laser range finding type so this is the 10 uh, 10 by 42 model and uh, you also have 8 by 42 model available if we compare these two binoculars um, so the field of use I would say that with the 10 times magnification you get uh, more details the handshaking is more noticeable especially if you plan on using this uh, binoculars for longer periods of time um, but uh, in comparison to eight times that's why eight times is often more suitable for beginners but i would say that the 10 times magnification you can really benefit in scenarios where there is usually the distance to the observed game is longer such as in the mountains and anywhere in a hilly terrain for example the 10 times really stands out before i move on to the smartphone app and telling you how it works i just want you to take a look at the EL range now that it has a forehead rest mounted on it. As I already told you, you have to remove the battery cap. Once it's removed, you screw the forehead rest in place. So the forehead rest takes the position of the battery cap. And this is its first point of contact with the binoculars. The second point of contact is here. The spin on the forehead rest just goes into the socket that is connected to the binoculars. You have two points of contact and you have the forehead rest fixed in place as it should be. What do you gain with it? Well, basically you gain an additional point of contact with your face. How does this improve the overall experience? Well, basically it increases both comfort and stability. You'll notice this mostly if you're tired while using binoculars, if your hands are shaking, if you're observing for longer periods of time, you will find that this third point so additional point of contact with your forehead will increase stability to, to a great degree and also comfort and once you have it mounted on you just simply set the desired um, set it to the desired position so that it is it goes it is compatible with the position of your eyepieces and you're ready to go I tested this feature um, by taking the EL range to the local mountainside and I have to say that when I was um, I don't know uh, breathing heavily and then when I used the binoculars I have to point out that I could really steady the image uh, much better as to when I didn't have the forehead rest on so um, only a simple piece of plastic but it really works okay enough about the forehead rest let's go to the smartphone app as said, if you want to connect this to a smartphone app, you need either Android or iOS operation, uh, operating system. I have Android here. So this is the L-Range uh, configurator. A really simple app to use. Here you can see I already connected the device previously, so it's already listed here. L-Range and then the serial number, but it, as you can see now, it's not connected. To connect it, you have to have Bluetooth turn on on your mobile phone and then you have to put the binoculars into pairing mode. You do so by pressing both of the buttons for around three seconds until the blue light appears. Now it's in the pairing mode and as you can see it automatically connected it. And if you have any measurements that you want to transfer from the device to the mobile phone you just click get measurements but uh, I already transferred these uh, before uh, making this review so they're already here. Now this is Swarovski's new tracking assistant and I really would like to say a few words about uh, this new feature. It's incredibly, incredibly useful and it allows you to track the harvested animal 
or just go to the point that you range to without getting lost. It's incredibly useful in hilly terrain where you can quickly get disor disoriented, such as in, on the mountainside um, and all other similar terrains. Now, here under the tracking assistant, we have three measurements. So these are the three last measurements taken. And when you click on one of them, you can see that you can select the automatic or manual. So you determine your starting point here. If you uh, select automatic, it will just um, use your current GPS location. So before going to the point where you range to, it is useful to turn this on. Or if you know where you range from, you can just click manual and then select it on the map. Now, if we choose automatic, you can see that uh, I'm already in the same building as I was. This is the our headquarters where I range from. And this is the point where I ranged to. And I can navigate myself to the point of ranging by using this map. I have a second option. I have a cursor which points me in the right direction also displays the distance underneath and <laughs> of course prevents me from getting lost and I will be um, and guides me to the direction that I have to go to get to the point of ranging uh, to the point where I range to to find the harvested animal for example okay so as you can see we have many measurements here they all work the same I just use three different measurements so that you can see how this is displayed here. If you do not have a smartphone, do not worry because um, you can benefit from the tracking assistant app without having to use the smartphone. You just go into the menu by pressing this button for two seconds. You select one of the three latest measurements taken, turn on tracking and you're ready to go. So if, I don't know, you wanna know where to go, you just, um, take the binoculars, measure back to the place where you started and you will be given the directions on the display to the point you were ranging to. So it's really simple to use and if you don't have, if you don't have a, um, a smartphone you can use the app this way, the feature. If we move on, the new EL range also features the <clears throat> The advanced ballistic calculator you have three ballistic profiles where you can simply select your rifle scope so you only have Swarovski rifle scopes here if you do not use a Swarovski rifle scope just choose one of these because you'll be uh, able to choose that the holdover uh, the correction is displayed in MOA or MRAD later on but if you choose this if you do have any of these, just select them because you'll also be able to get clicks of, in terms of correction. You then choose side height above bore, you choose your ammunition. I already selected one here. The conditions, so sea level and temperature, which also influence the, <clears throat> the bullet drop, so the ballistic coefficient and everything. And then you have the zero range. This is the most recommended distance here, which you can also turn on so that the app calculates it. Now, I already have two ballistic profiles set, so here I have certain other things. Here I can choose how the correction is displayed, either in MOA, MRAD, and all sorts of other things. Also, the equivalent horizontal range can be displayed. And it can even tell you the number of clicks needed for bullet drop correction if you have a Swarovski rifle scope that you can choose in the menu, but which I showed you before. We have five brightness levels to choose from. Distance display unit, meters or yards, temperature units, Fahrenheit or Celsius, air pressure, and of course, before making uh, transfers to the EL range, we can choose which um, which ballistic profile we would like to use as soon as we, we pick up the binocular. So if we choose rifle one, you will be in rifle one ballistic profile immediately when you use it. And you will get, I don't know, if we choose the correction in MRAD, you will have the correction in MRAD uh, beneath the distance. And this is basically everything. So it's really simple to use. I like that uh, they're not plenty of buttons that would um, make it confusing and everything. Here we have system of units, metric, imperial, 
and also some additional information. But this is basically it. So three ballistic profiles and the tracking assistance can also be used based on the last three measurements. Well, the price of these binoculars, the 8x42 costs 3,380 euros, while the 10x42 is 100 euros more expensive. It costs 3,480 euros. So a really expensive device, one of the most expensive binoculars out there, but rightfully so because it has many advanced features. It has an advanced ballistics calculator, also the tracking assistant, along with all the other qualities that Swarovski binoculars bring. Let's go through the scope of delivery. So, as I said, you already mentioned the strap earlier. I already mentioned the eyepiece cover made out of rubber, also objective covers which are strapped to the binocular so that you don't lose them. We have some extras in this box here. Let's just open it. So this is, for example, I'm oh, sorry. This is, for example, used to open the battery compartment, much easier, and some additional parts. And we have an additional strap for the back here. A lens cloth, soap and brush inside this box here. The instruction manual available in many different languages. We have a bag used for transporting the binoculars around, soft on the inside with an additional um, pocket here that you can stash some extras so they don't touch the binocular and damage it. And this is basically it. The forehead rest that I have here is not included. You have to purchase it extra. It costs 129 euros. So, not included, but a great accessory to have. Okay, so now I have pretty much am at the end of the review. I want to go through the good and the bad stuff, as I usually do at the end of Optic Trade Reviews. And what I like is that these binoculars have an advanced ballistics calculator that we were eagerly waiting for as the competition, uh, as the competitive devices already have them for some time. But what's completely new is the tracking assistant. And I think this is what um, <clears throat> puts Swarovski, makes Swarovski stand out of the crowd because um, the competition hasn't come up with anything similar before. What I also like is the optical properties, Swarovision, wide field of view, impressive color fidelity, edge to edge sharpness. Uh, the image clarity is not compromised by the laser range finding system, which is great and really rare in this in this world of laser range finding binoculars. I like that it's compatible with the forehead rest. I believe that most full size and uh, dusk oriented binoculars made by Swarovski in the future will have the option of mounting this on. I also like the quality eyepieces, the great focusing system and the quality strap attachment system. What about the downsides? Well, these bulbs here, they're definitely, um, they affect the ergonomics and the aesthetics. But if this is the reason to maintain a clear picture when looking through the binoculars, then okay, I'm not bothered by them because they don't affect the ergonomics that much. It's just a minor issue for me. Then I think that a twilight model, so one with a 54 or 55, uh, 56 millimeter objective lens would also be nice to have uh, in the series. We all only have the 8 and 10 by 42 models. Some uh, people, even though three ballistic profiles are okay for me, some people complain that um, there could be more if you have, especially if you have uh, different rifles, uh, different rifle scopes and ammunition and so on. And last but not least, the price. So this is currently the most expensive uh, laser range finding binoculars on the civilian market. They're more expensive than both uh, Leica, Geovit.com and uh, Zeiss Victory Air, 
uh, RF, but they also come with a tracking assistant. They're, they're the newest, they have the Swarovision Vision technology, so the price can definitely be ju justified. But as far as the quality and all the other things are concerned, you should definitely uh, try these three binoculars side by side and decide for yourself which one is better as they're all exceptional. It's difficult to tell uh, which ones are the best. They all have their own qualities, they all have their own downsides. Well, with the new EL range, Swarovski has finally come up with an answer to Size Victory RF and Leica Geovit.com models, and we are eager to see that happen. The AL range finally has compatibility with an app. It features an advanced ballistics calculator. The tracking assistant is a great addition. As I said, something we haven't seen before. Incredibly useful to have, especially if you are hunting in the mountains. If you're looking for top-notch laser range finding binoculars that are great mechanically, optically, and have all the latest features, then EL range with tracking assistant is definitely the way to go. Thank you for watching this review. If you found it useful, leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other videos on uh, optical devices on our YouTube channel, and see you next time. Take care, goodbye.